Hello, my name is Tyler, and today we're working with the Roland SP300i. We're going to show you how to feed material into the machine and how to do the feed calibration. This is important anytime you switch the media you're using so that you don't get dark overlapping lines or any white gaps in your prints. So let's get started. To load media on this machine, what you're going to do is take your roll. They have these media clamps here. Basically, you're just going to slide them in on both sides. All you do is you t just tighten these down to make sure that your media won't slide off. And then you're going to just slide it onto here. From here, we're going to go ahead and roll the media through. So you want to make sure that your media is coming off the top of the roll here like this. And then you're just going to slide it underneath the machine here. Make sure that your media clamps are open. And then we can come to the other side and clamp it down. From here, we just want to make sure the pinch rollers are lined up. This is going to vary depending on the width of your media. The one on the left is going to go as far left as your media allows, which is all the way over here because we're using the 30 inch roll. Then we'll line up the other ones with these blue dashes that are here and here. The one on the right, you want as far right as your media will allow with still being lined up on the blue. And then you should be all set and you can go ahead and clamp it down. The next step is we're going to go through the feed calibration. So to do that, we're going to go into the menu down to calibration, and then over to test print. What you're looking for on the feed calibration menu, this with the arrow is the setting that you're currently at, so we're currently set at negative 0.4. What you're looking for is you can see on this left one there's a white gap in between these two. This would mean that you're too low. On the other side you have a little overlap on the print here which would mean that you're too high. You're basically looking for the perfect spot. So this actually does have a little gap here. So what might be the best setting is this 0.7. And then to change the setting, you're going to go into menu, down to calibration, to settings. And then we can go ahead and set this to the negative 0.7 here. Press enter and it should change it. And then go back and we can run another test print. So after you run the new feed calibration, you can see that we're now set at negative 0.7. This is almost perfect. There's no overlap and there's no gap here. There's still a little gap here, a little overlap. So I think 0.7 is just about perfect. This will allow you to have perfect prints that don't have overlapping when they do the next line or any gaps in your prints at all. So that's how you load material into the Roland SP300i and how you set up feed calibration. If you have overlaps or gaps in your print, this would be a good idea to run through. If you found this video helpful or you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. If you like any equipment you saw in this video, you can check it out at wensco.com. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.